well, it's a bit of a different diary piece for me this month. I've, uh, I've caught my target fish finally um, in my last piece, and as a result, I've been flitting around a little bit. I've been doing some perch fishing, some barbel fishing, and the carp fishing's been on a couple of different venues. Today, I'm over on uh, over on Little Farriers with my friend Mark Bryant. We've been doing some articles um, for the Corder site and some various magazines, and um, yeah, we've had a we had a really good trip. Mark's caught a couple up to 23. And uh, I flicked the rods out at night time, um, and uh, was handsomely rewarded with a with a common of about 14 pounds, and uh, and a lovely old looking mirror about 25, well not about 25, it was 25 pound eight ounces. Had a small like stumpy little tail, um, real old chap. It was, it was a lovely carp, and uh, yeah, what a cracking venue this is. It's, it's available for group bookings um, by the Carp Society, and it's a stunning, stunning little water. It's got a bit of everything, it's really weedy, um, so there's little clear spots amongst the weed. So, you know, it's, it's not going to be the easiest place in the world for people to fish, but with a little bit of thought, you know, you can outwit some of these lovely carp. They go up to mid 30s, I believe. Um, lovely big farriers commons, I think, got, were, were put in here. Um, and I caught them basically fishing to the margins. I was fishing hinge stiff rigs because there's a little bit of rubbish on the bottom, a bit of debris and uh, I was just presenting them over the top. I was introducing some Monster Red and Atlantic heat boilies, just scattering them up all up the margins, and uh, it, it was in the middle of the night at some point. <laughs> I, uh, I, was, I turned over, got the bite, turned over, tried running, running out the, uh, the wrong end of the bivvy with no door for some reason. I was a little bit startled and uh, sort of scrambling for things, and yeah, I was in a bit of a daze. But anyway, eventually I found myself latched to a, to a nice fish, and. Uh, yeah, I managed to catch a couple, which was which was bang on. Um, other than that, I've been to uh, on a guestie to a, to a mate's water in Cambridge, an awesome pit with about 18, 19 acres with a massive chalk face, and uh, the carp love going up and down this chalk face because it's actually out of bounds. Um, you're allowed to fish to it, but you can't fish off of it. Um, and I arrived there nice and early, got the rods out at about it's got to be 130 yards. I'm using braided main line so I was able to give it a real good heave ho and fish tight up to the face. Walked over to there to bait up, she can ball bait off of, the, off of the side whilst Ken was minding my rods and uh, I looked over the side through the Polaroids, it's gin clear and I couldn't see a thing. That was until I started balling some bait and I made up a nice mix of some hemp, um, made it a little bit cloudy with, with some cloud nine, there was also some monster red boilies and bits in there as well. So I was balling it up and chucking it off the side of the face and uh, literally minutes later an armada of like 12 or 15 carp come swimming in and uh, some of them are real good ones and they were actually picking some of it out um, as it was travelling to the bottom and they're uh, actually following it down so got the bucket, legged it back round and uh, sort of 20 minutes, half an hour later I've had a take and uh, that's resulted in a, uh, that was a 30 pounder and as I was playing that, the other rod went, so Ken played that in, and uh, that resulted in a, in a scrappy common of about 18. And the session just got better and better. I just kept putting round, putting more bait in every couple of hours, and uh, I just kept catching, ended up with five, uh, 29, 30, 31. It was absolutely amazing fishing. And all of them were caught on hinge stiff rigs, um, just fishing a nice little monster red pop up over the top of that. Um, I was also giving it a bit of a bit of a dip as well just for more attraction and yeah I was whacking it about 130 yards no PVA or anything just hinge stiff rigs on helicopters you know it wouldn't tangle and I just knew they'd be presented perfectly and uh, what a great session that was so here I am now just at Little Farriers it's pretty much the end of the session now um, yeah but we've caught four and we're really pleased with that I think Mark might have a little go here in the winter and uh, I think I'll be joining him on a couple of sessions as well so until next time, see you later.